Mojang has released the final update of the year for Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition. It brings in a couple of new features along with dozens of bug fixes and some experimental features as well. We got a lot to talk about, so let's jump into it. There's two proper new features in this update, and that first one is the bat. As you can see, we have the new bat model in the game. This is the first time that the bat has been updated since it was added to Minecraft in 2012. It's been literally 10 years of having this mob in the game. Now, you might be wondering, does it drop anything? And the answer is no, it's still actually completely useless, but now it looks a lot prettier. And the next big feature is one most people thought would be in 121, but it's actually here in Minecraft 1.20. As you can see, you can now store items inside of the decorated pots. These have one inventory slot, so you can put one item type in there, or you can put 64 items in there. So yeah, I could put a whole stack of diamonds in there, for example. And if you really spam it, it sounds amazing. I mean, look at that. That's just incredible sounding. So, of course, when you punch these things, they're going to drop all of their items and the pot as well. And you can even throw projectiles at these things now, and that will shatter them and drop their inventory too. Of course, this feature has been put to use in the new trial chambers, and now you can use it in today's Bedrock and Java update. Decorated pots are actually pretty useful for storage tech because it's a one-slot inventory, which we have not had before. And, of course, you can read that with a comparator to see how many items are in there. And, of course, you can also pull items into it from any direction using hoppers as you can see here we can put some items in there and we can also take items out of them as well so it's fully functional with redstone another thing you might not have noticed is that decorated pots that are identical can actually be stacked now so all these pots are the same meaning that we could stack them together previously they were non-stackable and yes you can put decorated pots inside of decorated pots what kind of nonsense is this we are missing a little bit of functionality with the decorated pots. Of course, when you place them, that gets detected by an observer. But I think when you activate them like this or put an item in them, that should also activate an observer. This happens with chests, for example. This little feature would be great because then you could put a bunch of these things on the wall and have a little bit of a combo lock using these different symbols, which just sounds super fun. So those are the two main features, but we also have a bunch of different bug fixes and changes in this update. The first one being that vindicators and evokers will now be deleted from your world world if you go into peaceful mode so you can no longer have these things in peaceful which is actually kind of useful if you're being overwhelmed by a raid and you just can't kill these guys then you can switch to peaceful for a minute and then go back to your other difficulties i know this is completely irrelevant but this is how the evoker stands in the boat it actually stands in there as you see the feet go through it and this is how the evoker sits in the boat now i i've never seen the evoker's legs they got little striped tights on <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at them. This is how they stand up. So, I mean, I guess it matches. I've just never seen this before. It looks so dumb. <laughs> Okay, it looks equally as silly on the pillager. It just, I don't expect things with legs to sit how the player does in a boat. Because, of course, this is how the player sits, which is still kind of weird. There's definitely some inconsistencies here. I'm not sure which way I want it, but I think the legs one is definitely way funnier. Imagine seeing the villager's legs. I mean, that's just, that's just creepy. Mojang has made even more changes to raids on Bedrock Edition. Because they can just never leave these things alone for more than an update, can they? So, right now, if you have any raid mobs in the world those mobs will actually join the raid assuming that they're actually in the area so none of these pillagers that you see right here are from a raid they're all from the pillager outpost and this means that if we go ahead and kill some of these guys then you might see that raid bar actually go up as more of them spawn in and if you have any other raid mobs in the area such as from a woodland mansion or a pillager patrol or even just cave spawns those will actually join in on the raid as well as you can see the raid bar has gone up when we spawn in the witch or the vindicator or the evoker so you gotta watch out for additional things joining in on your raid and furthermore witches will actually throw potions in the raid now to help heal your other raiders even if they are from a spawn egg there might actually be a way to increase the rates of your raid farms using this so the pillagers that spawn in the outpost if given enough time to join the raid will actually drop raider things as you can see we're getting enchanted armor from these guys we're also going to be getting emeralds from them so you might want to actually collect the loot from the pillagers in your outpost now because it's going to be the same stuff that you get from your raiders which is really interesting so it does actually change their loot table 
Unfortunately, they don't join the raid instantly. It can take a couple of seconds for them to join, but once they do, they'll actually start dropping emeralds and the other types of gear, and that'll give you slightly better rates from your raid farm. As you can see, once they join, bam, we get emeralds from them. And of course, we have a new experimental toggle in this update, update 121. This will give you all the features that we've seen in the 121 snapshots and betas, like the crafter block, all of the copper blocks, and the tough blocks. So now, if you want to, you can play with all that stuff in the the current update 121 experimental toggle without having to join the betas now notably the trial chambers in the breeze are not part of this update 121 toggle so if you want to play with those features you still have to join the betas or snapshots also if you want to see just how broken minecraft 121 is check out my recent video it's wild good news for realms users there's been some back-end changes so we're going to see an increase to the realms render distance in the next couple of weeks i believe they're currently on 10 chunks which is one what it looks like right now and we might be seeing an increase all the way up to 20 chunks render distance on realms so this is what it might look like in a couple weeks time so impressive things and very good news for all of you who play on realms you'll actually be able to see more than a stone's throw away and good news for all you xbox players you can now download worlds from a realm that are larger than one gigabyte previously if the world was over a gigabyte you just would not be able to download it to your xbox great news for all of you who love phantoms when you're gliding with your elytra they'll no longer miss you while you're flying in the air uh, previously they would just kind of fly past you and miss you but that'll no longer happen anymore you're welcome guys in case you don't like phantoms for some reason i actually have a new phantom farm coming out soon so that you can kill them in mass and not regret it mojang has made some super impressive over the top changes that completely fixes the end dimension that is the fact that the hitbox of the horizontal end rod is no longer vertical previously you had the hitbox of like this way when it was this way kind of overpowered i know they've also changed it so that when you break a chorus fruit with a projectile that projectile doesn't get deleted anymore so if you throw a trident at that previously the trident would get deleted and by the way you can also break these things with snowballs which is pretty great for your chorus fruit farms did you know that chorus fruit made noise when they grow I mean, look at that. That's so weird. Okay, listen, it's actually been seven years since the end update released. It was 2016, guys. So when we get nice little tidbits like this, I mean, we just gotta hype them up because the end dimension has been forgotten. There's also been a very disappointing bug fix. So previously, they made it so that the large mobs don't fit inside of boats anymore. But if you had a baby mob grow up into an adult, it would stay in the boat, which is great as a curse thing. Uh, but now adult mobs that have grown up from babies in a boat get out of the boat and i'm just so sad we also have a bunch of other changes that i don't think we should go in depth on but if you're interested we have a bunch of changes to how mobs attack players you probably won't notice any real difference in your gameplay we also have some great changes to touch control devices which i know you guys have been waiting for for a while and there's also been a fair amount of updates to the general ui of minecraft hey so i'm also releasing a little mini advent calendar this year not daily videos but a lot more tutorials than i would normally be posting so subscribe that way you don't miss them thank you so much for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed i'll see you guys down in the comments and in the next one